is video number one in regards to our training series. So yes, we are getting involved in some training videos, especially on the Mac platform right now, or the Apple platform, I guess. So Macs, iPhones, iPads, etc., etc. And this is going to be focused primarily on like beginner information. So for those that especially just got a brand new Apple device, again, Mac, iPads, iPhones, and we're going to be going through some of the information that you guys may need in order to be able to function a little better on your computers. So the first one that we're going to deal with today is simply uh, the mouse. So when you get a mouse or your mouse or trackpad, especially on a computer. So when you get an iMac, for instance, you get the option of whether you'd like a mouse like this one here, or if you'd like a trackpad. And then on the MacBook, of course, you get the uh, built in trackpad, but you can always add an external mouse if you so choose. But I'd prefer that you guys learn how to use a trackpad because it's, it's actually really good. So what we're going to do here first today, we have my mouse here. We have my MacBook over here. First, we're going to start on the actual iMac and look at the mouse. So the mouse is really just a single shell, uh, but it does have a right and a left as well as a touch surface. So when you're on your computer, of course, moving this around is going to be how you use your mouse. Now, one of the things you will notice too, if you lose track of the mouse arrow on your computer, if you move it really fast, you'll see the arrow get big and then get small again. And that's really designed just so it's easy for you guys to find it. If you're like, where did my mouse go? Trust me, I've used it. It works beautifully. Now, the other thing that is important is that the shell on the mouse, this, ear, this area here, is a functional shell. So if you and I are in, let's say, a web browser, of course, we can move up and down on the shell, right, to go up and down inside anything that moves around. And this can be right, left, up and down. It's very, very simple. Now, there are also some multi-touch being able to use two fingers on the actual mouse, but we'll get to that in a minute. The big one though with using the mouse primarily, and I see this a lot, is you know, as if you look at my desk right here, I don't have a lot of desk space. So I see people a lot of times using their whole body to kind of move their mouse around where they need to stretch it around. The big thing here, and you'll see how I hold a mouse, uh, I literally am holding it with these two fingers like this. And this is just so that I can push and lift, right? Push and lift. And really you're just kind of sliding it. And just kind of practice moving it around so that you have the ability, basically within an inch or two, to be able to move that mouse all over the screen. So that, that can be really handy. And you can use this to click. You got your two fingers here for moving up and down, but a nice way to be able to move this around, grab stuff. Once you get better at a mouse, then the whole computing experience is just so much nicer. Now, once you have that, I'm just going to close this. Once you have that, then one of the things too is we talked about there's a left and a right, right? Or Apple calls it a primary and a secondary click. So if you go into this here, which is your system preferences, you'll see it down here. Now you'll also see it up under the Apple if you don't have it on your dock. And that's what that bar at the bottom is called is a dock. If you go on your system preferences, you will see, I'll move this here, is that there is a keyboard, a trackpad, and a mouse. So of course on this, which is my iMac, I don't have a trackpad. So if you click on that, it'll actually say there's no, there's no trackpad. The same thing happens on your MacBook. If you don't have a mouse connected, you click on mouse, it'll say there isn't one. But here we're gonna click on mouse. And the big thing here is these kind of settings. So scroll direction, and this is important, especially if you're coming from a Windows computer, seems very opposite, right? So when you scroll this way, the screen seems to go the wrong way. Well, that can be changed just by unchecking the actual checkbox, but I encourage you guys to keep it because if you look at, again, I'll bring up Safari, right? And if I take this and I push up, if you look at the sidebar here, this little guy going up and down, as I push up, the bar goes down. And that's a big thing for Windows is that you're like, that's it's all, why is that happening? The key is not to look at that sidebar, look at the physical screen. So we want the screen to move upwards. So we actually scroll up. We want the screen to come down. So we use this, the mouse to, to scroll down. So it's almost as if you were putting your finger up on the screen and pulling it down. You're just doing it down here, right? And once you get that, that muscle memory uh, becomes really important because 
that's the interaction that you're going to do on an iPad. That's the interaction that you're going to do on a touchscreen. That's the interaction that you're going to do on any kind of smartphone. So we're just bringing that down onto the top of the mouse, which again, I, I really like. Now the other one here is this secondary click and it says here, click on the right side. So that's that right side of the shell. If you click on there, you'll notice if I come over here and right click, you get a little sub menu come up. And these sub menus can be really important because they give us additional information. You'll see when I click on the left on the desktop, nothing happens. When I click on the right, you get this sub menu. Little things like change desktop background. You want to put a picture of your, your family and friends or grandchildren or whatever it is. This is how you're going to do it. And if you do it on an item, you'll get information in regards to that item. You'll see here, open that, remove the download, move it to the trash, get information, rename it. Very different than when I did it here. So you got to remember that where you click is very important as to the options that you get. So that's, that's some big ones. Um, we'll go through these ones a lot more in the future, but I do encourage you guys to kind of look in here like smart zoom. And what's nice about it is if you put your mouse over top of one, it'll give you a little video demonstration on what it does. So I definitely encourage you guys to do that. The mouse doesn't have a lot, but it does have some, but definitely mouse over them and kind of watch the little video because it is a good helper in regards to trying to understand what it does, you know, as well as you'll see here, mouse battery, right? At 21% left. So it's getting close for me to have to probably charge this, but it charges fast, right? Just plug it in, let her go for an hour or so, and you should be good. All right, let's move over to the actual trackpad on the MacBook. Okay, so we've moved over to the MacBook right now. It's right here. And I got a little uh, keyboard skin on it so that I don't get any crumbs or moisture or anything on that. And, and you know what, if that's something you want, go out and look for one. Not, not necessarily that important, but the trackpad. So same idea, trackpad. This one's, this one's a bit on the, uh, I don't want to say more difficult to learn, but there's a lot more to it. So again, single finger on here, this is going to move your mouse. Nice and simple. If you take two fingers and you click, you'll actually see that you get that secondary or right click. So it's just two fingers. And you can do that anywhere in here. Now, the one thing to realize too, is that the trackpad almost has, it's like two clicks. So it's two levels of clicks. So I don't want you to hammer down on it. I just want a nice little light and you'll feel that click. Right, because you can you can feel, and I want you to just practice with a single finger. There's a click, and then if you keep pushing again, there's another click, click, click. And the trackpad has the ability to have two levels that do very different things. So for those that are used to, especially Windows computers, and you're just like, I just got a hammer on it, uh, you may not get what you want it to do. So the big thing here again is under that system preferences. And again, you can do it through here. So on your dock or up on the Apple, you can come up here and actually hit that system preferences. You're going to go now to where it actually says, um, trackpad and then trackpad, you're going to see, I'll bring this down to the center again. You're going to see there's a lot more. So little things, look up data detectors, tap with three fingers. And again, if you bring it over, you'll, you'll see these little videos come through secondary click. Now what's nice about this is maybe you don't like the two fingers. You're like, ah, I'm not good at it. Anything that has a little down arrow here, see this little down arrows. If you tap on that, you can change it. So you could be like, I don't like the two fingers. I like it bottom right hand corner. So now you can come down here, right? And now that's your right click down here, or you could turn it to this side as well, depending on what you want. Now I like it. The two fingers, I find that's the best for me. You guys, do, do with it as you choose. Um, there's that force click and haptic feedback. So you'll see click then press firmly for quick look, look up and variable speed media controls. Again, we'll go through this a little deeper in a, a different video, but definitely cool. And if you're like, I don't like it, we'll just turn it off. You have every ability to turn these off if you don't like them. Uh, tap to click with one finger. You'll see all these different abilities to scroll and zoom and do all kinds of stuff. And then a whole bunch of more gestures. So the big thing in here again, is that these have almost like little tutorial videos inside them. And I encourage you guys to play with them. If you have any questions in regards to them, please reach out in a comment here below. We'll, we'll try to answer why they're important, what they kind of do. 
and we will again like i said in a future video trying to keep this video a little shorter uh is kind of go through this whole area one in regards to the mouse one in regards to the trackpad and we'll go a little deeper um just so you guys get a get a, a sense of how powerful especially the trackpad really is all right guys this was just a basic overview for you guys to get started especially little things like that secondary or right click a lot of times it's turned off and you're like how do you do it now if it is turned off for whatever reason and you want that right click and you've turned it off you will actually see again that i have mine set here to click with two fingers so you will notice on your lovely little keyboard there's a control key right here little control key so one click does nothing hold your control and click right mouse button that's there all the time so no matter what, if you just can't get it to work, control, click, you got your right mouse button or secondary click, and you're off to the races. So I encourage you guys to practice, play around with it. Always remember that now your computer is probably at its newest, and it's the best time to kind of play. Um, if you have any questions or comments, or give me an idea of what you'd like to also learn, leave a comment down below, because we're going we're gonna to try to do one of these at least once every day or two days, probably. Somewhere in that range. And uh, should be fun. All right, my friends. I'm going to leave you there. Uh, more tutorial videos coming up. More tech videos coming up. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little bell right down there. And we'll see you guys next video. Later, my friends.